Happy Saturday, my little chocolate chip pancakes. So we are at, what day is this? I don't know why I can never remember what day it is. I think it's because I never look at a calendar because I'm not in school right now, so yeah. Um, today is day 23. Holy cow, guys, we are so close to being done. Great job. I'm not quite awake yet. It's been a long morning. It was a long night. <sighs> Drinking my coffee. Are you guys gonna drink coffee with me this morning? Today is my Friday. Yes, I know it's Saturday, but today is my Friday. I have to do a catering job tonight um, at a winery. We have lots of those around here. Um, so then after that, I'm off, and I'm actually not really gonna be working at the barbecue place anymore because um, I start back to school on Monday. Ah! So not ready. I'm ready, but I'm not ready. I don't know. Anyways, so that's what we have going on today. Um, but let's get to today's topic. It is, what is your favorite motivational quote? And mine is by the lovely Brené Brown. I spoke about her um, in my video about who you would like to have a drink with who's alive. And this right here is my favorite motivational quote by her, be fearlessly authentic. Uh, this is my favorite quote and I actually have it hanging up in my bedroom and I see it every day when I wake up. Um, I just, I don't know, I never had really thought about living authentic until I read Brene's book. Um, I thought it was just me, but it isn't. And what it means to live authentic is to be yourself, be who you are, and that includes all of it. The good, the bad, the beautiful, the ugly, all of it. And um, not just living that way, but sharing that with other people. Being, allowing yourself to be vulnerable is a big part of it, and that can be really scary. And on this journey I'm kind of going on these la that I've been going on these last couple years, I'm really learning what it means to be authentic and what it means to be vulnerable, especially with those people who are closest to me. And even with you guys, like when I shared my video with you on, I think it was day 13, um, that's kind of just another step on this journey that I've been going down. And really learning to love yourself and to face shame and allow yourself grace and to love yourself. And it takes a lot of courage to be vulnerable and to be authentic. And that's something that Brene talks a lot about. And I just find it's just, it's so beautiful to me. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's a quote that's really stuck with me. And I mean, I pretty much like anything she says and I, there's lots more things and quotes that she has that I love, but this one's just so simple yet it, it holds so much in those three words and so to me it's um, a big part of my life and so I'm striving each and every day to be fearlessly authentic to be who I am regardless of whether or not people like it whether or not people accept it if those people don't accept it then maybe I don't need them in my life because the people who truly accept me will accept all of me um, my flaws my imperfections the good stuff the beautiful parts, all of it. And so I just encourage you guys to also dare to be fearlessly authentic, um, especially with yourself and with the ones around you and the ones you love and the ones who love you. And hold me accountable too, because I forget some days and you know, we all have those hard days. And yeah, so let's just encourage one another and especially in this, time in our world where things are so dark and there's so much violence and tragedy and horror and let's do a little bit of good and let's start with ourselves and loving ourselves and let's love one another and spread love. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.